Today we're gonna do a fade on thin hair. We're gonna start the haircut, we're gonna use number four, and we're gonna use the technique grabbing the hair to cut it with the clipper. This technique's gonna help to blend the hair on the top. The rest of the hair, we're gonna cut it in a free way, and then we're gonna use number three a bit lower than we used number four. We're gonna cut in a vertical position, avoiding cutting more than you need. We're gonna use number two a bit lower than we used number three. Then we're gonna use number one and a half with the hook a bit lower than we use number two. Remove number one and then we're gonna open the blade to make a guideline with the half or 0.5. Close the blade to use number zero a bit lower than we use the half or 0.5. We're gonna use the trimmer a bit lower than we use number zero. Clean the hair, cut it. Now we're gonna use number one with an open blade to start blending it with the one and a half. Go back and clear the darkest areas left that using the corners of the blade. Use number one with a close blade and then stretch the scalp to make easy blending the hair. We're gonna start with the most important step of the cut. We're gonna open the blade to use the half. We're gonna go organize right to left only clearing the darkest areas with the corners of the blade. In this case, I'm not gonna edit the video, I'm gonna use it raw so you can appreciate the process and you can see the progress using this technique. Go back and clear the darkest areas left. -hand. Open and close the blade depending on the length of the hair to blend the line on the bottom. Continue using the corners of the blade. If you can't blend the line with the half, then use number one open and close depending on the length of the hair, avoiding going higher. We're gonna connect the right side with the back. Use number one with a blade open to start making a way and start blending it with the one and a half. Then close the blade and use it a little bit lower than you use it with our open guard. Then use the half, only the corners of the blade clearing the darkest areas from right to left. Continue blending the right side and the back. In this angle, you can appreciate how fast you can blend that line using this technique. We 
We are using the corners of the blade only clearing the darkest areas. We're gonna start with the left side, we're gonna use the same technique, we're gonna use number 4 and we're gonna grab the hair with the finger to cut it with the clipper. With this technique it's gonna be very easy blending the hair on the top. Use number 4 in a free way to cut the rest of the hair. Use number 3 a bit lower than we use number 4. Use number two a bit lower than we use number three. Use the one and a half with the hood a bit lower than we use number two. Cut from left to right and right to left. We're gonna make a guideline, we're gonna open the blade to use the half or 0.5. Close the blade to use the zero a bit lower than we use the half or 0.5. The rest of the hair we're gonna cut it with the trimmer and we're gonna use it a bit lower than we use zero. Use number one with an open blade to make a way and start blending the one and a half. We're gonna use number one with a closed blade and we're gonna stretch the scalp to make easy blending the hair. Start with the most important step of the cut. Open the blade to use the half or 0.5. In this case, we're gonna go from left to right only using the corners of the blade and clearing the dark areas without rushing. I'm using a raw video without editing so you can have a close-up of the progress using this technique. This is one of the most difficult hair to make a face. The reason is, because it's thin hair, the hair grow very separate from each other, making a gap. But at the same time, it's one of the best, so I can show you how this technique works and how you can go easily blending that line using the corners of the blade and clearing the dark areas. The more patience you have and the less you rush, the faster you finish.
We're gonna connect the left side with the back. We're gonna use number one with a blade open, and then we're gonna close it using it a bit lower than we use it with an open blade. Remove number one and then we're gonna use the open blade with the half or 0.5 to continue blending the left side with the back, only using the corner of the blade and only clearing the dark areas. Continue using the corners of the blade. Continue connecting the left side and the back and polish the haircut depending on how much time you have. We are using a raw video without editing so you can have a close-up of the progress using this technique. If you see the halves not blending, then use number one, avoiding going higher. We are polishing the connection of the left side and the back. We're gonna use the shaver on the edges. We only gonna use the corner. We're gonna go from left to right Avoid going higher so you don't make an extra line. Use the trimmer to blend the line we make with the shaver. Use the shaver from left to right or right to left. Blend with the trimmer the line of the shaver. We're gonna shave the edges, the sideburn and the neck with the straight razor and we're gonna use the transparent lotion. In this case, we're using conditioner mixed with water. Check the client's neck to see if he has a mole or a pimple.
In this case we didn't make the tape of the front but we did the frame of the sideburn. We're gonna cut the top with scissors, in this case we're gonna use three fingers touching the scalp in a 90 degree angle in a horizontal position. The back of the top of this haircut is shorter, we're gonna use two fingers. Connect the right side with the guideline on top. Continue with the lateral section using two fingers touching the scalp in a vertical position. Adjust your fingers in a vertical position to have a square look. Connect the left side with the guideline on top using three fingers touching the scalp in a 90 degree angle in a horizontal position. Remember, the haircut is shorter on the back so we use two fingers. Continue connecting the lateral section with the top using two fingers touching the scalp. We're gonna check the cut, cutting in the opposite direction, only cutting if we need. We are point cutting to start texturing the top. Use the texturizing scissors making two cuts, one on top of the other. Continue texturizing the right side and the left side, making two cuts, one on top of the other. We're gonna start the blow dry and style of the hair, and in this case, we're gonna use a made finish. You can use another product depending on the outcome you wanna accomplish. These are the results. This was a skin fade on thin hair. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.